Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are resting with our wild meadow as she continues to hang out with this new male that we actually have managed to attract. And he actually seems extremely friendly, like he wants to spend a little bit of time together. Let's go ahead and try wagging our tail at him and see what happens. He seems to be pretty friendly and we need to build up a little bit of an affinity with him. So hopefully getting a little bit of time away from all of the fighting that the other rival wolves were doing and just some time where we can go ahead and try to bond together will possibly let us see if this is going to be it. If this is finally... <gasps> oh, that's so cool. If this is going to be the mate that we really were looking for and the mate that we need in order to get ready for the puppies! Because tomorrow is actually going to be the release of the pups update for Wolf Quest 3, which means that our wild meadow, the only survivor of our Luna pack of wolves uh, over many, many generations, it's kind of surreal to think that we're looking at the last survivor over countless, countless generations of wolves that have come before them, all from the very first episode of our wolf quest adventures also are those bison i have never really seen a bison lie down like that before that's so fascinating i wonder if this mystery wolf whose name we will reveal if he does become our mate because you guys left so many amazing name suggestions i wonder if he'd want to try hunting a bison but i think that we would need like a whole team of wolves to do that uh so let's go ahead ah over here Let's let these two spend a little bit of time maybe figuring out if they can hunt together because that's going to be a very essential part of finding out if they might be able to create a family together, a pack that could really guide them. The Lamar Canyon pack is somewhere nearby so we'll need to be careful. But can they forge a bond that will allow them, oh what's this? A fox was here a little while ago. We'll have to worry about foxes later. But we do need to figure out if we can form a bond between these two that will allow them to become strong enough to lead their own pack. And I'm really excited because if we if we can get this, he is like a four-star wolf. There's just something about him that running along beside him, spending time with him, it's just really making Meadow feel like... There we go, a little bunny for a snack. It's just really making Meadow feel hopeful. Feel like maybe this is what's supposed to happen. Maybe this could potentially be the mate who could help her really be able to discover the world and learn the lessons that the early loss of her family back when she was still just a young yearling wolf and the forest fire claimed the rest of her pack, he might be able to teach us the lessons that she just wasn't able to discover at that time. Also, we, we're kind of full, so maybe we'll spend a little bit of time, like, sleeping, since wolves actually don't need to go ahead, sniff noses, and spend their whole day running around. They spend more than half their day sleeping most of the time. Uh, let's try maybe a playful role. Oh, he is bonding with us. Nice! All right, where's he going now? Is he just smelling stuff over here? Oh wow, he barked at us, so cool. All right, let's do a little howl to let everybody know. Yeah, there we go. Wow, yeah, he seems super encouraged. Okay, you know what? Maybe we will try that little hunt. I did manage to see there were some deer that zipped away from us pretty quickly. I don't want to hunt a moose calf. That actually sounds like a lot more trouble than it's worth, but let's see. Cinnabar. Wow, wait, what's going on here? No way! Really? Prospect Peak? Well, no, he's Prospect Peak, but Cinnabar? So wait, a moose calf and a moose? Yeah, look, a moose and a moose calf, they're being chased. <gasps> Oh, what story is unfolding here? 15 minutes ago, a moose calf was being chased by a bunch of other wolves. Look at this! A mule deer zipped by over there. Alright, what's this scent right here? Yeah, there's another pack nearby. And it looks like they separated the moose mother and infant. Look, you can see the moose calf ran over here to the left. But the wolves were right behind them and chasing down the moose mother. Whoa. 
All right, speaking of being right behind them, come on. Come on, we don't need to mess with the Cinnabar pack. It doesn't look like they took out the moose. All right, we'll leave them be, but we'll, we'll give them a little howl just so they know. We're not that afraid of them. Maybe a little bit of posturing more than anything going on right here. Well, our, our potential mate is, like, confident. He's not going to pick a fight that he doesn't want to win, or, like, that he can't win. But he is not afraid to do a little bit of howling to let the others know about it. And actually, a lot of the research on real-life wolves reveals that that usually is the case. That when they have territory conflicts like this, actual fights between different wolf packs are very rare because they can be so deadly. So instead, the wolf packs usually spend their time kind of posturing. A lot of territory scent marks. Speaking of which, I don't think we have scent marked anywhere, so might as well scent mark around here just to show the Cinnabar pack what for. And a lot of barking, howling, growling when they do happen to meet. But usually, wolf packs don't get into huge aggressive fights. It's just such a risky thing to do. All right, let's actually run back along here. Oh, look, there's more bison. And the mule deer. I'm kind of curious about the mule deer. Let's see where they went. See, three hours, 15 minutes ago on the mule deer, 20 minutes ago, 25. Okay, so the mule deer actually went this way. Let's follow their trail. It looks like they might have gone into the forest. Oh, wait, is that the moose? Let's see. Yeah, the mule deer are this direction. It does look like they went towards the forest. And look, there's the moose! I don't think that's the female moose. I think that's the bull moose, for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we don't want to mess with him. He's more trouble than he's worth. But what I am curious about is this right here. All right, so the mule deer are into the forest. Let's go ahead and follow them. And then we'll see if we can get a hunt. Gosh, okay, maybe in the morning. Because they're still about an hour ahead of us, even when we're trying to run after them. And we're actually tired. I didn't expect that. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and rest for a second. Let's see what this guy wants to do. All right. Let's do maybe a little chin rest. Okay, we need to take a break from socializing with our mate. So I guess that we're going to interpret that as he's tired too. And we'll go ahead and rest. I think he's got a lot of confidence, you guys. Meadow still has a lot to learn about being a wolf, but I really like seeing that he's not super aggressive. He's not afraid to kind of come off very confidently and let the others know that he's present, but he really does not seem apt to pick fights he can't win. I wouldn't say he's super playful, even though he just did the play bow, but I would say he's just, like, not concerned. He's got nothing to prove in an area like this that's not our territory. But I wonder if he would be the kind of wolf who would be really focused on trying to, like, help defend our own territories and protect our pups. He comes across as really reliable to me. Kind of very down to earth, honestly. Not caught up in ego. Not trying to prove himself to others. Maybe he's a little hungry? There we go. Probably need to impress him by doing some hunting. All right, the Lamar Canyon pack has been around here. And what's this? The Wapiti pack. Oh, what is going on? Are you guys like trying to spread? Whoops. All right. No, we're nowhere close to either of those guys. I wonder why on earth their territory markers are coming this close to us. Ooh, a bison bull carcass. <gasps> Who took down that bison bull? Maybe that's what all this was about. Look, okay, so there's the bison bull carcass sign. So I wonder where it's coming from. Let's go see if we can find some food. We have to keep an eye out for the orange. There. A grizzly bear might be nearby it, so we'll need to use a little caution. A fox is nearby. Who's this? Lamar Territory Scent Pack? You know what? We can go ahead and respond to a scent pack kind of sassily. Yep. Yeah, take that. Take that. Ah. I wonder how much a bison bull would feed a very hungry 
grizzly bear because it seems like the bison bull scent is deteriorating and a grizzly bear was nearby huh and a cougar is nearby all right you know what this might be another case of they can go ahead and have their bison bull and let's actually go ahead and let these guys sleep through the night so that it's daytime and we can see a little bit better and we'll do some more hunting though many wolf packs actually do spend their nights going ahead and doing a lot of hunting especially because much of their prey aha a mule deer yes where which direction is it going this way no yes okay let's see if we can hunt this mule deer with this potential mate we have next to us oh they have been all over the place all right good 50 minutes ago, good. 45 minutes ago. They should probably be grazing just up ahead a little bit. 35 minutes ago, good, good, good. All right, we do need to see if we can work together. Okay, there we go, there's the mule deer. Okay, apparently we can work together because somebody is extremely excited, but is he fast? So now comes the time to see if he can hunt. We know that he is pretty calm. Oh, look at him, he got it. Let's get our stamina back. These mule deer can run. Let's get a little bit of an opportunity. All right, I think he's he's helping a little bit. Yeah, look, 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 he's got one of the legs. Oh, good, 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 so he's holding on. Oh, excellent. Now, if you would just come in for the kill. Come on, we can do this. We can do this together. All right, good, 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 good. Oh, I think we're going to have some dinner. Yes. Oh, it is so much help to have somebody else do a little bit of the hunting, too. He is very cautious. He Not in a, like, nervous way, but it seems like he just really wants to be sure that he's coming at a problem from the right angle. That's excellent, yes! Let's go ahead and eat up. Not bad, not bad. Already the ravens are here. They were probably following us as well. But not bad! Hopefully our mate will, or our potential mate will go ahead. He's just like tearing off chunks of food. Are you gonna eat it? Yeah, look at that! Excellent, excellent. Let's wait for him to eat up and then we'll do some howling and some socializing because we need to see, I think they can hunt very well together. So this guy has shown us that he's not hot-headed. He is not going to go ahead and pick fights with stronger creatures like grizzly bears and cougars just to go ahead and pick the fight. He's also shown us that he is not going to pick fights with other packs just for the sake of it, but he's not afraid of occasionally standing his ground, but he will leave if it looks like, you know, Emotions are just running too high and there's nothing to win. And he's not afraid of putting in the hard work, but he's not reckless when it comes to hunting either. That's what we wanted. A nice celebration of their hunt together. Excellent. All right, what do you think? Yes, okay. Wonderful, so the wolf is impressed with our strength and hunting skill and wants to be our mate. Yes, we've got it, you guys. We actually have our mate. Let me know what you guys think about him. I think that he's got himself together. He's really, really more down to earth than many of the mates we usually run into. Usually they're a little bit more bold or aggressive. And this one just seems, it, it doesn't seem like he's terribly optimistic or pessimistic. It doesn't seem like he's terribly bold or cowardly but it does seem like he has a well-balanced view on what's really possible in the world. And I think that that is exactly what we need for Meadow to be able to figure out how to move forward and get ready to have pups. And here we go. So after careful consideration of a whole bunch of the names, I wrote down a ton of your game's name suggestions so that we could try to pick the right name for this wolf. I think that after seeing his very stable, like steady behavior, and the way that he just kind of takes the world as it is. I think that means he doesn't have like big, big dreams. He kind of just stays in the present, but we can accept that. So he's maybe not going to create like something mm, 
something ambitious. Yeah, I don't think he has a lot of ambition, but he definitely has a lot of calm stability. Meadow can go ahead and bring in her dreams of ambition with the distant memories of the stories of the Moon Pack. So let's go ahead and we're gonna name him Genesis. I think out of all the names I wrote down to see what fit his personality, this one for a new beginning. That one will work. And there we go! We have found our mate! We have started a new pack with our mate, and now we will get ready to discover the new Amethyst Mountain area together. There isn't enough unclaimed space here in the Lamar Valley for you and your mate to carve out a territory. Later in the winter, you'll have to travel north to find unoccupied turf. In the meantime, explore the area with your mate. All right, guys. It's pretty exciting. We're going to form a family. A family snapshot has been saved. Yay! So next time, we will go ahead and we will be able to explore further with Genesis and Meadow and see where their story takes them. Hopefully to many wonderful new puppies, which means you guys need to be leaving some great suggestions for puppy names because that will be coming up tomorrow. I'm so excited about that. Hopefully, even though Genesis isn't like super ambitious, he'll be able to kind of stay grounded in the reality of taking care of our new pack and we'll be able to raise them successfully to adulthood and carry on the moon legacy. So all right guys, if you could, do please leave a like for Genesis and Meadow. Tons of pup names down in that comment section. We'll use a random comment generator to help us pick. Be sure to check out our link to our WolfQuest wiki to make sure that you're not suggesting names we've used in the past because we have had hundreds of wolves born into our wolf pack. It's kind of amazing. Ah, and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.